now to imagine it. I don't know how he got through security, but the chief scientist from the Imagination Station, Carl Nelson, is here with some dry ice, and it's always a fun time when you bring in the gloves and the glasses. What are we doing today? Exactly. Well, you're going to want to put those on because yeah. we're going to work with dry ice. Halloween is coming up, mm -hmm. and dry ice is going to show up at parties and things like that in drinks and whatnot. People want to create this sort of fog effect. Right? right, I see it. And dry ice is solid carbon dioxide. It's 109 degrees below zero, hence the gloves. You don't want to touch it with your bare hand. You could get frostbite. <laughs> wow. Okay. And so the neat thing about dry ice and where it gets its name from is that it never changes to a liquid at atmospheric pressure. It changes directly from a solid mm -hmm. to a gas. And so you can see that hypotransvaporation. Really? I don't know. I've, I've never heard of that. <laughs> right. We call it sublimation. <laughs> okay. Um, in fact, go ahead and toss some of this into our cylinder here. You okay. can't see the carbon dioxide gas because it's invisible. But if you drop some in the water, mm -hmm. you can get an idea of how much gas is actually coming off. Yeah. Okay. And that's sort of the spooky thing you can do during Halloween is to create those bubbles. Now, I said you can't get liquid carbon dioxide at atmospheric pressure, but what you can do is if you pressurize carbon dioxide gas, like in this CO2 extinguisher, sure. you can get it into a liquid form, and that's how they make dry ice. They'll take liquid carbon dioxide, and we're just gonna squirt this on the table here. And you get a buildup, that fine powder, <laughs> I nammed your pants as well, Very that nice. fine powder <laughs> is actually, here, go ahead and pick that up. Okay. Show that. Whoa! To, yeah. So you got a little bit of dry ice. Now this is terribly inefficient. Though. Don't try this at home. Don't try it at home. <laughs> Manufacturers would actually take that light and soft fluffy powder and compress it into these blocks okay, okay to make it much, much harder. And that's where you get dry ice from. Now the other cool thing that's happening with dry ice from a chemistry perspective is that when you put uh, carbon dioxide into water, it actually creates some carbonic acid in the water. Mm. So Tony, go ahead and drop in some more Let's into this it. one. All these? Yeah. In this container, I've got an acid base indicator. So the liquid will change color as it turns from an alkaline solution into a more acidic solution. So wow. you get that nice, a cool sort of Halloween orange sort of color. Yeah, the pH. But the pH is changing, exactly. And if you've ever drinking a uh, carbonated beverage, mm -hmm. you, that bite or that acidity sort of feel that you get in your mouth, okay. that's from the carbonic acid. So Tony, if you can just go ahead and stick your tongue out, <laughs> we'll give you a blast uh, of, what does that feel like? Oh, bitter, bitter. Bitter. Mm -hmm. It's that carbonic, you want some more? Uh -huh. like, yeah, yeah, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the, it's the carbonic acid that's building up in the, in the saliva in sure. your mouth. Um, which gives uh, carbonated drinks some of that uh, sort of flavor. Excellent. But if you are working with dry ice, one quick safety tip. Always put it in something that's kind of tall like this because kids and adults will like to like reach out and try to touch the stuff. If you put it in a tall container, it's much harder to get your hand down to the bottom Good to reach it. Don't do it in a big open bowl. Right. Do it in a tall vase and or something like that. And maybe put up a little warning sign, do not touch. Well, and watch it as well. You can also invite Carl Nelson over for all your parties. <laughs> He's available for Halloween parties through uh, <laughs> the end of the month. And the Imagination Station is open. We've got a new exhibit down there. Go ahead and tell Ooh. us quickly about it. Sesame Street, the body. Um, it's all about the body. We've got the set from Sesame Street. We have Elmo roaming around as well, large character. Um, come down, check it out. It's all about the insides of your body, the outside of your body, and how to make healthy choices with eating, all for young kids. Thanks a lot, Carl. And we're going to turn it over to Dave with sports.